good hooligans today we have a matchup between division rivals as the 67 and 79 detroit tigers take on the 90 and 56 division leading cleveland indians is there you see a look at two of the premier batters in all of baseball even though Miguel Cabrera hasn't been doing that well this year. Carlos Carrasco going to get the start today. 28 starts, a 14-10 and 10 record with a 3.38 ERA, a whip of 1.3. This guy is pitching well. We're going to have to get to him. We're going to have to get to him early, and we're going to have to get some runs on the board. Chase Ellis coming to the plate, batting 351 on the year, 21 home runs, leading the Tigers and homers. Top of the first, no one on, one out. Gonna guess fastball high like we always do. We're not gonna get it. That's all right. All right, that one's a little bit outside. I'm gonna leave that one alone. 1-0 count now. Once again, gonna guess fastball high. And once again, yeah, he's not gonna give it to us. All right, put a swing on that one. Hit it out to left field. That one, ooh, off the wall. Having trouble with it. We're going three. We're going three on this one. Oh, get in there, get in there, get in there. And we are safe at third, a triple for Ellis's first at bat of the game. Let's go. This boy's hot. This boy gets hot and he stays hot. I don't know what happened to the left fielder. Oh, he went for it. He just couldn't bring it in. And that is going to bring Miguel Cabrera to the plate, batting 267 on the year. Not the greatest batting average of his career. Hasn't hit that many home runs. Is leading the team in RBIs. No, I believe he's second in RBIs. If memory serves me correctly, I do believe he is second in RBIs. Anyway, man, Ellis on third, one out, 2-1 count for Cabrera. Pitch is on the way. He's going to lay down the bunt. Brings in the third baseman, and Ellis going to slide, and he is going to get thrown out at the plate. The sacrifice does not work. But kudos to Cabrera, he tried. All right, so designated hitter Edwin Encarnacion. There you see sixth in the American League with 99 RBIs on the year. This man's been getting it done. When he has runners on the base, he's been hitting them home. So we're definitely going to have to uh, scout the situation here. Runner on first, runner on second. No one out in an 0-2 count. Oh, fly ball out to right center. You gonna get there? You gonna get there? And he does not get there. It's off the wall. Right field is gonna bring it in, get it in quickly, but a run is going to score, and Cleveland is gonna take a two to nothing lead here with two more runners in scoring position and no one out. All right, Jace Ellis back to the plate. Already has a triple in the first, one for one on the day. Let's see the situation. What we got? Two out. Runner on first. Still down by two in the third. So. The game hasn't gotten completely out of hand yet. We have a chance to maybe hit one into the gap and get this man home. That one's going to be way outside. We're going to leave that one alone. All right, let's guess the fastball high again like we always do because when they give it to us, we can drive it. When they don't, well, sometimes we struggle. That one, slider right down the middle. A little bit inside, but still probably should have got a better swing on that one. Just a little bit late on it. Once again, guessing fastball high. Just give me the fastball high. Just give me the fastball high. Okay, that one's going to be outside a little bit. Hits it out to center field, and the center fielder is going to bring that one in, and that is going to end the top half of the third. All right, bottom of the fourth now. Jason Kipnis, 0 for 1 with a strikeout on the day. As you see, two outs, one on. Tigers have pushed across the run, so it's now a 1 to 2 ball game. Full count for Kipnis. Pitch is on the way. He's going to hit it out to shallow center field. Ellis going to range in, and he's not going to be able to get there. It falls down. Runner breaks for home. Ellis throws to the cutoff man instead of going home, and that is going to allow that runner to score easily. Mistake there from Ellis. All right, Ellis coming up for his third plate appearance of the day. One for two with a triple. Top of the six, down by four now. No one on, no one out. Come on, give me a fastball high. Okay, that's way too high. That's way too high. We're going to lay off that one. All right, so after that one, we're going to guess fastball low here. He might be trying to, trying 
Trying to change the eye level, get us looking high while he goes low. He's not going to do that. Gives us another one high. That one we're just going to pop foul. All right, and it lands safely. 1-1 one, one count. That one was almost just as high as the first one. Okay, we're going to get fastball high. He's not going to give us fastball high. And we are going to ground out to the third baseman. Almost beat it out, but not quite. Bottom of the six now, one out, no one on. 5-2 ball game, and Jason Kipnis is back up to the plate. Fly ball out to center field. This is going to be it. Easy, easy fly ball out to center. Ellis puts it away. Two outs in the inning. Bottom of the seventh, two out, no one on. Still a 5-2 ball game. Jose Ramirez at the plate. He's two for three on the day, and he is going to hit a deep fly ball out to center field. Ellis takes a bad first step, manages to track it down and put that one away, though. Inning over. Back to the plate for the fourth time. One for three on the day. Had a triple in the first. Hasn't been able to do anything else in this game. And we have got to get something going. But we just might. Well, I was going to say we just might lose this game. But we probably will lose this game because it's the Cleveland Tigers. Top of the eighth. Two out. No one on. This is when Ellis has to be great. This is when Ellis has to start a rally. Has to do something to get his team pumped up. Going to use showtime. Solid contact. Driven into the gap. This is going to be extra bases. Ellis on his horse. He might be looking for three. Now we'll hold up a two. We'll hold up a two. I was going to say we might be looking for three, but that ball came up. That ball came in quick. That ball came in real quick. That's going to bring up Miguel Cabrera. And as you can see, Cabrera with a late season charge here. Two for three on the day with two home runs. So both of the Tigers' runs have come off of solo shots from Cabrera. That one's going to be high. Cabrera draws the walk. And now there's going to be two on with two out here in the top of the eighth. All right, it's going to bring up Nick Castellanos. One for three on the day with a double in the fourth, but he has the chance to be the hero tonight. Stop. Stop it. Stop trying to put your voodoo on Castellanos. All right, here we go. 0 2 count. And he is going to strike out inning over. And that's just how this season has gone. Ellis again to the plate for his fifth at bat in this one. Already has a triple, already has a double. It is the top of the ninth in a four to five ball game. Two out, two on, and I wish I still had my showtime. Good hit here. Fly ball out to center field. That one's going to hang up, though. Center fielder gets under it, puts it away, and they are going to tightrope out of the inning. They are going to get the dub. Once again, the Detroit Tigers fall to the Cleveland Indians, and this season has been one, two, four, get. I just wish I could forget it. All right, here we go, getting ready for game three of this road series against the Indians, and as we take a look at these two teams' records, Big indication of how the season has gone for each team. Big indication of how this season series has gone between these two teams. Trevor Bauer getting the start today. 29 starts, a 17 and 5 record with a 2.3 ERA and a 1.15 whip. This man has been getting the job done all season long. Chase Ellis to the plate for his first at bat of the day. 347 on the year, 21 home runs. Definitely in discussion for Rookie of the Year honors. And if I don't win Rookie of the Year, I'm going to punch somebody in the throat. Anyway, top of the first. One run has already come across the score. We have a runner on second, only one out. Low pitch there. Ella's is going to get some wood on it. Gets it out to left field. The left fielder is going to range in and put this one away with a shoe top catch. Francisco Lindor to the plate. Pretty good season. 268. 70 something what was that 79 rbis bottom of the first one out no one on looking to get a quick second out here ball driven out to right field right fielder ranging no can't get it it's over his head and all the way to the wall who is that jacoby is that jacoby jones who's number 86 i don't know who number 86 is this man made it all the way to third with a 69 speed brandon geyer to the plate and as you can see a 125 average no home runs 
No RBIs. This guy obviously got called up recently because he ain't playing all that well. Anyway, fly ball out to center field. Runners on the corners. There's two outs. Ella's ranging all the way back. Leaps at the wall. Jumps way too early. I don't know what happened there. I hit the button. I jumped too early. I hit the button again to try to jump again. And instead, it made me dive. So that brings up Michael Brantley in a game that may already be getting away from the Tigers here. Bottom of the second, no one on, two outs, just a one-run game. So Tigers are still in it to this point. Can of corn out to center field. Ellis going to get under it, puts it away. Inning over. Quick inning there. Ellis going to get his second shot at the plate here after flying out in the first. Two out, two on. Still a one-run game here in the top of the third. Going to guess fastball high. He's going to give us fastball high. Ooh, nice little grounder right between the third baseman and the shortstop. Runner's going to go home. Is he going to get there? No. Gets gunned down at the plate. That was a bad decision, sir. Bad decision. Ellis back to the plate. One for two on the day. He should have. Should have got a base hit and load the bases in his last at bat. Instead, that man got greedy, tried to go home, ended up getting thrown out of the plate. Anyway, still a 2 1 ball game. Top of the fifth. Runners on the corners, two outs. And Ellis is going to ground out to the third baseman. No batting clutch. I'm sleep. Francisco Lindor back to the plate. Bottom of the six. No one on, no one out. Full count. He's going to drive a fly ball to right center field, and this one is gone. No chance for Jace Ellis to bring that one in. And this is now a 5-1 game for the home team, the division-leading Cleveland Indians. This is getting out of control. This is getting out of hand. All right, here we go. Jace Ellis. The leading rookie of the year voter, one for three on the day late in this game, needs to do something great to get his team back into this one. Top of the seventh, two on, two out, still down by four. I think this is time to use some showtime. Oh, we got a high pitch. We got a high pitch. Drives it out to right field. It's falling. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Rip. Rip, boys. And that is going to do it for this one. Once again, the Detroit Tigers will fall to the Cleveland Indians. It has been an ugly, ugly, ugly season. Anyway, man, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Go in there. Turn on notifications. You'll be kept up to date every single time I post a new video because YouTube sucks at letting you know all that stuff. I'm out for now. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.